three apricots, one gardener. Will she plant them? Will she plant them all? Let's see. Let us see. There's a bucket over there. Pray tell. Why is there a bucket in the ground? Hello everyone, this is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. How are you doing? Guess what today is? Earth Day! It's Earth Day! And I saved a tree. Well, I've been planting trees left and right, but there is a tree that I need to get in the ground. Well, actually, there's three trees because I got two figs. I got two baby figs. The other ones I have are Chicago figs. And I went to the grocery store, our local H-E-B here in Texas. You don't, they may come to your state soon, but they're in my state right now. And they sell trees for less money. So this one is, I hope I can say it, Celesty Fig. Hmm, here it is. I got another fig tree, another variety, and I got two of them. Anyway, it's Earth Day, right? And I promise you all, I'll plant a tree. And my allergies are acting up, but we got one more apricot tree out here. I just got back in, so I'm a little late. But it's right there. This is an apricot tree that I need to get in the ground. So we're going to go ahead and do it. I already have a space picked out. Let's get to it. All right, now, first thing is not to rip up the tree because it's getting caught on my crepe myrtles. Why'd I go this way? Best laid plans, let me turn, tip it down. How about that? Tip it, tip it, tip it, Jamerica, tip it. Now, I think this is the one that was root bound, you know, that it would be the one that was root bound that I get last because I already planted two. This is number three. I saved this one specially, especially for today because I have a spot for it, right? Chia, let's squat down. Uh, city is here. All right, I think that's about five feet away from the crepe myrtle. Why is this thing tipping? Oh, the floor, I'm gonna call it the floor. The ground is, is, is crooked. So I know where I want it. Let me move it out. Move it out. So the other one, I had three of them. So the other one is right there, right here. So his partner is gonna be just at least about 10 feet away, right here. I'm gonna knock it down. I'm gonna leave it down. Leave it down on the ground. So I'm gonna dig my hole and we know what we're gonna do. We're gonna get two, we're gonna get our um, horticultural molasses in a bucket and we're gonna plant this. I think I'm gonna have to wet this ground. Well, it rained the other day, so it might be it might be soft enough for me to dig. I'll find it. All right, I'm a little tired today, but I'm gonna get it done. Get it done. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, right? Make sure I place this thing far enough out. Yeah. Right here. Right here.
right. Done. Let me go and get the water hose and then we're gonna put some horticulture molasses and we're gonna get this thing done. Just like that. <laughs> Here we go, soup song. Loving you. Stir it up. Ah, don't fall back in. Don't fall back in. I don't want you back in yet. We're getting there. Sing your song, sweet music man. Cause I won't be there to hold your hand like I used to. I'm through with you. those of you who are just starting with me this is how I do it every time and we'll pull it out we'll look at the bottom grab it below the graph line and look at it don't grab it above this and the graph line I'll show you that in a second but this one I was right so I'm kind of being a little rough with this because I don't want it looks like a mat on the bottom so this is what I'm talking about when I say it looks like the bottom of a, a burnt up cast iron skillet you don't want that so let's loosen that up even if you have to rip it off, do it. It's not good for the plant. It's not helping anybody. And the plant is gonna suffer. It's stunting its growth. It's been in the pot too long. I knew there was one, but I wanted these trees, so I was willing to risk it all. <laughs> the main root right here, right here, that I am not gonna disturb. I'm just gonna loosen that one up. But the rest of them, you hearing that ripping motion, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm like, like untangling your hair. That's what I'm doing. I'm untangling the roots. And you know there's going to be some breakage when you're combing through your hair, right? Same thing we're doing with these roots. We're combing through it, saving what we can, but, and I can smell it, but it's all right. I need these little hair roots to start, stop going in a circular motion. Just stop. <laughs> I need them to stop it. All right, I think I disturbed them enough to make them fluid. That's all I wanna do, make them move around. And it's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. And I just lost about that much. Well, you know you're gonna have some breakage, right? When you comb through your hair. Same thing with this. So we got it loose. Now it looks like an afro. See that? <laughs> That's fine. Let's put it in the ground.
Now that I finished my calisthenics, let's see what I did. This is stone fruit, so it's a little bit different than planting a citrus. So with stone Ooh. fruit, you see this mark right here? I told you it looks like an arm is where a leg, you know, a leg and an arm are attached. This is our graph line. It's not as delineated as some of our citrus, but there it is. You see that hump? That's where it got grafted on. So we are not going to super surpass the um, graph line on stone fruit, which are peaches, plums, apricots, uh, plum quats, right? You can cover the roots though. That's the difference. Don't surpass the graph line. You can cover the roots. For the people in the back, don't go past the graph line. Look for it, find it. If there's no graph line, well, you got a special fruit because they planted that from seed. But most trees that you get nowadays are grafted, okay? And you don't have to worry about the roots on these. Citrus, leave the roots exposed on the top. And there we are. Apricot planted. Happy Earth Day! Yay! Now step it in. Walk it out. Walk it out. <laughs> Walk it out. Get it in there. <laughs> Walk around it, secure that plant, make sure that joker don't fall down. Okay, kind of try to keep it straight while you're walking around it. Don't put all your weight on it, but put enough weight on it for this joker to be secure and not flip over with the wind. It needs to be to go through the storm, through the wind until it gets rooted. All right, it's doing the gangster lean, but it'll be all right. I'll put a stake on it like I did this one until they get until they get um you know ready and I bought these little clips from Dollar Tree so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and get another bamboo stick and put the clips on it and hold that joker up give it some extra support this is Jamerica with Jamerica Life happy Earth Day and this is the planting of our apricot apricot lovely lovely there it is my love. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Oh, remember to like and subscribe.